Hello there, thank you for choosing Oxide Hosting. Within this video, we aim to demonstrate how you can use our one-click auto-installer to install Petrodactyl onto your virtual server, along with the additional steps needed to get this application functioning as expected. Please bear in mind that this auto-installer has specific requirements in order to function. You must use the Ubuntu operating system, versions 20.04 or 18.04. This auto-installer is only available for Linux services. This means our Windows product range may not be used and your hostname must be a valid domain or subdomain with a DNS record created routed to the server's IPv4 address. Firstly, navigate to your services control panel within a website browser such as Chrome or Firefox. This will be vps.oxide.host and log in using your email address and password. Your password would have been sent to you via email upon purchase of your service. We'll give you a few moments to locate this. Once you have logged in, navigate to your server that you wish to install the application on by clicking the rightward facing arrow next to your server. Navigate to the install section, followed by recipes, and locate the Petrodactyl stable installation, then click execute. You must now shut down your server using the shutdown option. Do not use the power off option. We'll give you a few moments to do this. Once the service is shut down, then click the start option. In all circumstances, do not use the restart option. This will not trigger the installation. You will now need to allow the operation to complete. This may take up to 20 minutes, but is usually less. This does depend upon your service plan with us in terms of how long such will take. You'll be able to see if the installer is running by the process usage. This increases and decreases without any intervention on your part. After approximately 10 minutes or so, navigate to your server's hostname. This should be the subdomain or domain with the DNS record you created. If you do not see the control panel displayed, provide some more time for this to complete. If after 20 minutes the install does not complete, repeat the previous steps once more. Any issues after this, please contact us. Enter the username admin, followed by the password admin. This account is to get you started, so let's change the details of this account quickly for security. Navigate to the profile slash person icon, enter a new password, along with a new email address. We'll provide you some time to get this done. We will now need to complete the remaining set of procedures. Make sure you have your SSH client open and connected to your server for this. You can see how to do this within the previous video linked in the description or use our knowledge base article. Navigate to the settings icon as displayed, then go to the node section, a location has already been created for you, then click create new. You will now need to enter some information into the displayed field. Provide your new node a name, we recommend something linked to the server's location such as FR01, then provide it a description. You will then need to enter the server's hostname into the FQDN box, leaving all other circular options that they currently appear. We'll give you a few moments to catch up. You can leave the file directory as displayed. Enter your server's memory which can be found in the plan information section and set memory over allocation to zero. Enter your server's total disk space which can be found in the plan information section also. Make sure you convert gigabytes to megabytes. You can do this by multiplying your storage by 1024. Once again, set disk over allocation to zero. Here is a table of all values you will need for both memory and storage organised by product provided by us. Please use these if unsure. Leave all other inputs as displayed, then click create new. Once you've done all that, navigate to the configuration tab, then click generate token under the auto deploy section. Copy the display command from your control panel into your SSH client. Then execute the command service wings restart to apply the changes made. Navigate back to your control panel, then go to the about section. Ensure the Damien version and system information is responding correctly. No loading icon should be displayed, but bear in mind this may take up to a minute. Any issues, please contact us for support. Before you can create your first server, return to your node configuration page, then navigate to allocations. Enter your server's IPv4 address into the top field, leaving the middle field empty, and enter a port range you desire in the bottom field, then click submit. You may now go ahead and create your first server. That will be all for this video. If you have any further queries or concerns regarding any content demonstrated within this video, please do contact us. 
We are available to assist via various support methods and platforms which can be found on our support section on our website, support.oxide.host. Thank you for watching and choosing Oxide Hosting.